is Susie Null, and I'm part of the Stewardship Committee. As you probably know by now, that the stewardship theme this year is fearless generosity. I admit to being fearless, fearlessly generous when it comes to charitable giving. But I'm anything but fearless when it comes to public speaking before a group of people. You qualify as a group of people, <laughs> therefore I am terrified. <laughs> Pastor Diane thought I should try to step outside my comfort zone and tell you about my feelings about the church budget. Well, I am so far out of my comfort zone that I don't know if I'll be able to find my way back in, but here it is. I learned quickly that most people want their offering to go for the greater good, meaning the wonderful organizations we support outside the church walls. Obviously, as Christians, we want to help those who are in need. It's inherent in our humanity, I think. But the truth is, at least 65% of our budget has to stay right here inside our church. Our expenses are high. That's no surprise, I'm sure. We have the usual bills, just like we do in our homes. We have the mortgage, utilities, repairs, and cemetery and parking lot upkeep. We have this wonderful sanctuary and church campus that needs to be cleaned frequently, as in daily. Believe it or not, God doesn't dispatch little angels with slippers and wet jets to clean this place. No, actually, we pay Charles for that. Personally, I really appreciate clean bathrooms, and I bet you do too, so I'm more than happy to pay Charles. Then there are our amazing pastors. Both Diane and Keith give so much of themselves in so many ways, and not just on Sunday mornings, but I'm sure you know that also. I love knowing that my offering is helping to pay their salaries. I really do. That's where I want it to go. But Diane and Keith would, be, would have a little problem if they didn't have the great administrative staff that we do. Teresa and Patty keep this place running smoothly. As a secretary, I know how important that is, and it's also difficult sometimes. Then there's the people like Libby Stephens, Dottie Long, Shirley Kyder, Ray Hopkins, and our amazing band. These folks are paid a pittance compared to the hours of dedicated service they contribute to making our church so welcoming. Speaking of welcoming, I have never experienced a more welcoming community of people than we have right here at UDLC. The operating expenses of our church are the foundation upon which all other outreach programs are based. Without this foundation, nothing else would be possible. In closing, I'm asking you to prayerfully consider all aspects of the church budget when you make your pledge this year. It will be a win-win for the whole congregation. 